Two games down and one to go from Mankato. It's time for a hockey day first as two college men's teams are ready to tussle outdoors at Blakesley Stadium. St. Thomas, the new kids on the block taking on Minnesota State. We're primed for a national championship run. Absolutely perfect conditions behind us. The flurries have started to fall. Glad you're with us for the 15th Hockey Day with St. Thomas's. Kevin Gord, very balanced booth. Ryan Carter, Minnesota State alum. And this has been a long time coming for Mankato. Of course, this was supposed to happen last year. Finally got it in this year, and Mankato's fired up about well, it. They got Ferrandino down there that eventually jars it free. Then out in front of the net, Minnesota State scores it! David Silly on the backhand! So St. Thomas nearly got it even with Piowski. Caught up in the snow there. Chance at a shorthanded one here, and that's off the post. A loose puck out in front, and they test him right away. Minnesota State with a seventh on the power play. Celia for a second time, that's one. This brings me back to is, is the first winter classic, Ryan Miller versus Sidney Crosby with the hat on, snow falling. Well, out in front of Dryden McKay there. St. Thomas had it deflected out with traffic in front of the net. And trying to get another drive on, and Minnesota State finally gets it away. The, the hat, you mentioned the hat. The hat's almost not in the picture because it's covered in snow. It's almost camouflaged at this point. How do they keep it on? Well, it's tight enough. You, 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 you just hope that it stays, and you hope that you're not having to move around too much. Tomey's really tested it out this period. Got that tassel on top to balance it all out. I think it's a lot easier, though, in all seriousness, if you're the goalie that's seen a steady diet of shots. I've played outdoor hockey, and when you're just sitting there, shift after shift and, and this is a really tough game for Dryden McKay night after night he plays games like this where his team dominates but when you're ice cold and all of a sudden here's a breakaway I'm not surprised that thing hit the pipe I mean this is a tough scenario if you're not moving around and he's just sitting down there. I'm watching he's just standing down there waiting for something to happen that's tricky the board chart tried to recoil it back in for Minnesota State and the Tommy's dump it back in behind McKay what would you be drinking on a day like this? You, you get the chicken broth from the Gatorade Gotta have bottle? The soup. Gotta have something warm. You, you, don't, you don't need anything cold. You do need something in your system. I know a lot of coaches, I know the Wild talked about this at the Winter Classic. The, the chicken broth was a big hit in between periods. It was a lot colder for that game, but everything's cold on a night like this when you're out here sitting around. Well, Borchardt puts one on Tommy and Minnesota State grabs another. It's Smith. Well, the first period, it, it was the third and fourth line for the Mavericks that got things going. I thought this top line, they struggled with the snow on the ice and figuring out how to play. Well, I think the second period, they've come out and simplified. They've gone to the front of the net. You heard Hastings coach him earlier on when he was mic'd up. Hey, make sure you got a net front presence. Nepravic does exactly that there. He ties up the Tommy's D out front. That frees Nathan Smith. He can corral that rebound. Plenty of time to put it where he wants it. Tommy down upstairs with this line much better their second goal of the second period speed and grit That's what this team is all about. They go to the net They throw the puck there and then a skill player gets the rebound and buries it basic hockey And you talked about it cards the third fourth lines adjusted earlier now the top line is doing it and That spells trouble the Florida guy is scoring in tropical Mankato on <laughs> hockey day And another one on Tommy Quick strike three unanswered for Minnesota State well, this line's been been working for the Mavericks. Their second line, Morton, Furry, Sandlin, big bodies on the four check. They haven't had a lot in the way of, of grade A scoring chances, but it's the quick strike there. The Mavericks have done a good job on attention to detail. Again, another face-off play, or eventually off to a wall battle, but they found open ice. And the Tommies have gotten lost in their own zone, and when they do that, these Mavericks are very opportunistic. They know what to do with all that time. That time it's Morton, quick strike to extend the lead. You saw Tommy fighting to see the puck. There were bodies in front. That's the trend I've seen on both these goals here on these last two shifts. They're making it difficult for that St. Thomas goaltender. He lost the puck early. By the time he adjusted when the puck came to the weak side, it was too late. So a, a quick swing and Minnesota State with pressure in the slot again, but a quick swing. It was it was nearly 2-2 in the midway point of the second period when Piowski shorthanded nearly scored it and quickly 5-1. I think 
Thomas needs a couple of stabilizing shifts, maybe a save or two by Tommy, because this thing can get away from you big time in a hurry. And it's been a good start to the period, but these last couple of shifts, Minnesota State, like they did a couple of nights ago in the third period, are coming in waves. Yeah, it was two goals in a 60-second span that basically put that game away on Thursday night. That's what they do. They just stay the course. Mike Hastings and this coaching staff has this team. Just to, They grind it out. They're a smart team. They're a heavy team. For a team that has the skill that they possess, they play a heavy game, and in stretches of a hockey game, they can wear you down, and that's what they've done here in the second period. You can almost hear it in Coach Blasey's voice when, when we were talking to him, Kevin, that... Well, we've got to get back to it. We, we had a good start to this period, but it's only a matter of time before the Mavericks turn it back on. And, and you know, they've done exactly that. Starting to impose their will a little bit. Let's see if the Tommies can respond on that bench and find some confidence. I got caught up in the snow again for Connor Grega. So the Tommies repossess. And looking to get one goal closer after they nearly had it tied. And out in front, but Minnesota State's there to whisk it away. Cilia in the first period with two goals to make it 2-0. Then Piowski with a quick one out of intermission. And the wave that you guys were talking about coming with three in a row from Minnesota State. Well, wraparound chance, and the net is jarred free. So we'll have a face-off on the other side. So Thursday night, a couple of goals in a 60-second span, and they do it again. Nathan Smith, and then it was Sam Morton, 5-1.